Welcome to the Monster okay. Prom Stupid Pop Quiz Ever. It's the thing where we do the stat check. All right. Be a, <laughs> be a visionary. Can you watch this? <laughs> what will I ask watch, first? I, I checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be a visionary. What will be the next big social media craze? Greek Agoras. Like literal Greek agoras, probably that is the word. Reinstated, mm -hmm. uh, reinstated in our cities, <laughs> uh, places mm -hmm. where philosophy and arts are discussed by the greater minds. That social media I want to log into. Arbert, is it just Robert? From now Arbert? on, a socially awkward guy named Robert will do everything he's commanded to through the app by its users. Oh, that's an episode of Black Mirror. It doesn't go well. Bullshit. <laughs> It's your regular social ne uh, network, but each time someone shares news that isn't supported by real facts, they're taxed. And the money goes good. to the people exposed to the bullshit. And also, if you put it in a cell and drag it down, then the bull will stay the same, but the hit, uh, the bull will change, but the hit will stay the same. I don't remember how a cell works. <laughs> <laughs> is it before, is it before oh, or after the dollar sign? I get the dollar sign, I see. I, um, I mean, this is cathartic. But also, this is, mm -hmm. like, really endearing, and this is just cruel. I'm gonna do Greek. Um... I'm gonna do bullshit. With a dollar sign. With, okay, bold dollar to hit. <laughs> um... Let's see. I think I'll take Arbert, because it sounds like something that would actually happen. Oh, that's dystopian. <laughs> I know, but it does. I'll take the bullshit the, the, uh, again. So smart and charming right. and wealthy. Ah, charming was what good. god do you pray to each night before sleeping? Praying's kind of lame. I have a group text with some deities, Dionysus, Bastet, Loki, coolest cats in town. Oh, I pray to all kinds of gods. I have this business where people pay me to deliver their prayers each night. I've even started to look at for a Chinese factory to outsource the prayers. Praying is for fools. I took compromising pics of a god molesting a tree, and now I blackmail him for whatever I want. A lot more effective. I'll do charm. Uh, praying. They're all praying. No. Oh, shit. Yeah, you uh, should. <laughs> praying is for fools. Oh, wow. Yeah, you should have specified better. <laughs> praying is kind of lame. Oh, we're all taking charming. I'm not. Uh, I'm taking money. Uh, it's the second one, I think think let me see the third one yes uh, yeah the second one's money yeah well oh well, charming's fine if you were an ice yeah. cream which flavor would you be success <laughs> Rain <laughs> rainbows and gunny bears meat double cream de la gru gru and mary meringue Meringues. I hate I hate all of the spicy <laughs> chocolate no chocolate on fire spicy chocolate's pretty good tequila and coke I wonder who that is uh, you know who that is. Uh, Scott. <laughs> uh, tequila and Coke. And Polly. Uh, spicy chocolate. Ooh, Damien. Damien. Nice. I'm gonna go for the double creme de la gouyerie and meringue. <laughs> Liam? Or something. Yeah. yeah. Ah, I thought it was not. You were wrong. You it was the it was pretentious one. <laughs> I thought it was fancy. Um, sure. Yeah, that's pretentious. Yeah. Uh, All right. <laughs> so the way the mods work is that if you go to the store, you can pick up an item that will just enable a storyline, basically. Because that's how I think it's where it works. I'm gonna try to redeem myself because last time was a fucking disaster. Uh, <laughs> poetry, not really my thing. But hey, I'll sell it. I'll sell you these tickets if you don't ask like a pretentious dick about it. Thank you. Didn't quite get what the mod does, but I'm guessing we go to the store to unlock a mod storyline. Is that what you were saying? Yeah, they're like opt in. It doesn't. Okay, it doesn't apply now because you already took the store. This stole time, but it from us. Yeah, but she, well, she'll be um, she'll be back during lunch and so on too. Sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, let's do the. Um, wait. So is the shops like normal inventory also gone? Uh, the shop's normal inventory starts when it normally starts. But she's oh, here which is next round. I see. Yeah, she's here immediately at the beginning kind of with just mod items. Gotcha. Okay, I'm all caught up then. Um, let's do... Uh, let's do library. 
That day you spent some time on the library's PC sending malicious spam emails in the hopes of stealing other people's money. It doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they respond to such blatant scams? You lose 10 karma, but <laughs> too money. Meh. Later you're minding your own business when you see Polly floating down the hallway texting, just as you're about to approach her. Cool. Oh boy, it's me. <laughs> All right. There you are, Polly. I've been following a scent. The scent of betrayal. What are you talking about, buddy? I haven't been pulling any pranks at all lately. Mm. Some very unfunny person messed with my sports gear. They put my left sock in my right shoe and my right sock in my left shoe. Polly, I know we're best bros and you would never do a prank to me, but I think you did this prank to me. I smelled you. <laughs> <laughs> I can smell you. <laughs> I can. It's me. The anyway. Um, no, you didn't, because ghosts don't have a scent. Maybe not to a normal person, but a werewolf can smell anything. And ghosts smell like algebra and global warming. <sighs> right. Well, if ghosts don't smell, then what am I smelling? He's of face course is awesome ghosts. I love the Buckeye face, <laughs> the existential crisis one. Yeah. <laughs> of course ghosts smell like ecstasy spiked rose wine in Victoria's seance lingerie. lingerie. I'm, it sure is a mystery. Hop in my van and we'll solve it, Scoob. I mean, Scott. I think we got this the first day. It, what mm -hmm. is this? It, okay, well, we're going to go with the top one because it's Holly, but this isn't like a stat check? No, is it's, it? a, sketch, it's a stat check. These are stat checks, yeah. Oh, yeah. they just they seemed very more like lunch style checks where it's just you pick the one you want mm -hmm. um so the top one is going to be fun the bottom one is going to be boldness probably so we'll do the top one yeah. oh charming oh charming good enough oh my gosh yes my favorite things then it was you scott do you have any idea how many ghosts in the school where victoria's seance it's the ultimate entre boutique. Uh, so, you're saying it could have been any ghost? Pretty much. But you know what? I'd be happy to use my rose wine smelling lingerie scented skill set to help you crack the case. Thanks, Polly. You're a good friend. They walk away, arm in arm. Polly looks over her shoulder and mouths to you. It was totally me. But Scott seems content. Their friendship is saved, and Polly seems pretty flattered by her choice descriptor uh, choice descriptors. In the end, the strongest smell here is the sweet smell of success. You gain two smarts and one charm. Yeah, I think they were both. I need neither of those. <laughs> yeah, well, they can all help. I think they were both. It's useful. Like, but... like it was, it was all in favor of Polly. I think the second one was to distract and get rid of Scott. <laughs> By putting him in a windowless oh, van. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I will go to the gym. Or charm. on that charm. All of the charm. Is Jim uh, charming? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That day, right. an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits, leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural born leader. You gain two charm. Suddenly, a chill runs through you, as if the very fabric of reality is in danger. Scanning your surroundings, you quickly discover the reason for the feeling. Polly and Damien are together, and they're bored. Damien! 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 Nah, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I must have fallen asleep for a second because nothing is on fire. <laughs> I know, right? Nothing crazy has happened in the last 47 minutes, and I'm dead. I mean, I am literally actually dead. But also, I am dead because of how bored I am. What if we just... Oh, fuck, I'm so bored. I can't even <laughs> think of something to do to not be bored. No, help us. Somebody please cause a sexy problem. Break the seven seals and release Kralak Thule, the world fucker. <laughs> Send in the party <laughs> goblins. 
Now, is the world fucker literally fucking the world, or is this like destroying the world? I, uh, they said they wanted sexy problems. They did, yes. <laughs> Yeah, let's go with the world fucker. That's what they asked for. So smart, apparently. Ah, what? Smart. <laughs> Using an accursed sword someone was stupid enough to give you, you shatter the ward separating the world fucker from our world. He emerges onto this mortal <laughs> plane with a noise like a million throats, be throats being slit at once, wreathed in bloody vapor. These are the end times that the ancient poets forlornly prophesied. Their realm will rot like the maggot riddled corpse it is. Ah, oh, sick! It's the world fucker! Come to fuck the world! Yes! Yes! Hey, world fucker! Wanna party? Kralik Thule speaks with a voice like a snake eating itself. He says, mm -hmm. Hell yes, but with like the sound of a, I don't know, a throat obstruction. <laughs> Is your interpretation of the narrator that he doesn't like do any voice acting? He just. Reads it off of the script or something. <laughs> it varies to some extent. Uh, gotcha. Like, sometimes he just literally just starts talking as somebody else for three screens, and I'm like, I guess I'm doing a thing. Yeah. But I talk <laughs> like his face looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you all head off to party all night, leaving a trail of flaming wreckage in your wake. The world is doomed, but at least that's not boring. You gain two fun and one boldness. Let's go. <laughs> two fun and one, bo one boldness for the end of the world. Yeah. I mean, we have to balance our apocalypses mechanically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm going to need, I'm probably going to need creativity. Too bad. Yeah, it's auditorium, isn't it? Yep. Uh, so smarts for sure. Uh, I don't think it's charm for him. Do you think it's three stats? Uh, are you going, going for, for again? Probably Liam, yeah. I, I, I picked the wrong person mm. that was hidden behind the options. So like, I smarts to go is from... already kind of low enough. Yeah, it might be like, smarts and creativity. Yeah, I'm going to go with smarts. Yeah, I, and so. then... I, I doubt he thinks, he thinks about fun. Yeah. Damn, that's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's Liam. Have you seen him? Yeah, yeah. no, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. That day you listen to your elders <laughs> and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes after all Ooh. the monster nonsense and dating g gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain two smarts. You catch sight of Liam and Vera nearby, doing what they do best, judging people. Pathetic. Ugh, do you see the leggings that Succubus is wearing? Oh, lame. How could I not? Oops. They're about as subtle as the di didactic intent of Jonathan Swift's a modest proposal. You know, Liam, I actually got the joke. Uh, sometimes I worry that we're the only two fashionable monsters at this entire school. You're usually in trouble whenever you get Liam's jokes. <laughs> <laughs> but then I realize that's not something to worry about. That's something to feel smugly superior about. I could have put it only slightly better myself. Now focus, Vera. We've got so many more outfits to critique. Oh, no man, way to you avoid got the best it. Liam voice. I'm gonna <laughs> steal it if I have to do it. <laughs> I, spent a, I spent a while. That was just all of uh, Phoenix Wright whenever it was Edgeward. <laughs> uh, no way to avoid it. You're about to walk right past them. Quickly, improvise a fashion accessory that'll actually impress them. Oh, put creativity. On, put on the hot dog costume to keep you keep in your backpack for emergencies. It's so ironic. Liam should love it. Strip naked. Then tell them you're wearing fabric that only cool people can see. Vera's all about being cool. These are weirdly phrased like their choices between characters, which is confusing. Maybe these they are things that be. we can only see if it's the uh, like the long games. Maybe. Oh, is the game more different? Consistently was, weird. Yeah. yeah. Is long game different? Are we picking between people? Maybe are. Yeah. Maybe we're wrong. Oh, I'm gonna go for Vera though. Uh, then uh, let's go with the second one. See, I hope that I succeed. Obviously. Yeah. So bold. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you rip off your clothes, saunter casually up to Liam and Vera, then let them know about your special outfit. They look you up and down, then at each other, then back at you. It looks... Oh, not bad. Good. Decent. I'd give it a, a 7 out of 10. I wouldn't choose that for myself, but it's certainly a bold choice. One could say even a, a pleasant one. Um, yeah. Yes, I too can see your outfit. It's 
It's fine. That has been quite pleasing. Oh, what? No, I know the classic, this is an invisible outfit for cold people trick. I wouldn't fall for that shit. I was actually talking about, y you know. Whoa, walking naked in front of people. You truly dance the line between bold and just being an exhibitionist. You gain two boldness <laughs> and one charm. You know, uh, got two boldness, if you know what yes I mean. Yesterday, Stephanie was getting literally every reference that Liam made and was having a crisis about it because she hates him, but <laughs> oh. also knows everything he's saying. <laughs> Everyone chooses something bad. Liam. Um. <laughs> Burn. Good, good I'm choice, gonna, though. I'm going to be topical and I'm going to say NFTs. Oh. <laughs> oh, that probably wins. Are we allowed to repeat I was going to say things? racism. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't win. It, it, it doesn't win because it's a. Uh, you don't know what the question's gonna be yet. Yeah. yeah. True. Like, what's the best superhero theme song? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should go with dog. Dogs are bad, right? How dare you? What? No, dare I know. You? I'm not. I can make okay. new friends. <laughs> <laughs> and why haven't you yet? Uh oh. <laughs> Um, something bad. Uh, let's go with, um, earthquakes. Hmm. That, that sucks. Yeah. Are we gonna go with racism, Ladybird? Yeah. NFTs, earthquakes, Lady... <laughs> racism. Ladybird. Okay. <laughs> <And> Leo. <laughs> Player just decided based on how likely it would be for man humankind to perish due to the mm. selected thing. Mm. I think Lady Bird wins. Racism. Which I, one? Don't, I don't think it's going to be Liam. <laughs> so I'll just <laughs> lose, I guess. Is it Earthquakes uh, I think or Lady racism? Bird wins. No, wait, which... Oh, NFTs. What did you pick, uh, Keith? Liam, I'm fucked. <laughs> oh, you're Liam. Oh, yeah, you'll yeah. lose. So yeah. I think it's Lady Bird first. <laughs> Lady Bird, Bird, me, and Keith. Probably. I think so, yeah. Nice fast Liam one. That's like the fastest this we've ever chosen. <laughs> oh, look at all those things that we're gonna oh. see. Lunchtime. <laughs> and the opportunity so, to enable quick, additional mods question. if so desire. So, okay. So, quick quick thought. Um, Ladybird was given Miranda, but none of us are probably gonna talk to her at all. So I wonder if, did you want to take a different character as well to do more voice acting or not? Um, I can, but I don't know who's left. It would just be you take up with somebody else. Like, you could do, I don't know, Vera yeah. or somebody. Okay, yeah, just let me know who. Okay. Vera is Vera's the snake the, uh, Gorgon one. Yeah. The, right. the green one, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's also okay. this witch if anyone her. goes to her table. Now mm -hmm. we're good. <laughs> the <bunch of> witches. <laughs> There's other characters as well that show up every once in a while. The yeah, hunter. Yeah. It's Lady Bird's mm -hmm. turn. Yep. Okay. Um. So you're here. So you pick, pick which. Yeah, you're picking a table where the two people at the table you can get an extra heart with. You'll have a choice between them, or there's this random NPC in the middle, or the store in the bottom left. There's a store in the bottom left. <laughs> yeah, the cat is always uh she's a she's the store. Oh. You either okay. get stat up, second, item, upgrade items or events. Machine. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I will go. Let's try top left. No. <laughs> no. Oh, you. Will, I yeah. won't be a, no. Oh. Yeah. When oh, you I'm arrive sorry. at their table, you find that Polly and Liam aren't eating. They're just taking pictures of their food. Welcome to the don't need to eat, so we just take dope food pics zone, baby. We believe that food, like heavy construction machinery, should be seen and not tasted. Yeah, I mean, have you ever tasted heavy construction machinery? Have you? I don't know, maybe. My weekends are usually kind of a blur, like last Saturday. There will be plenty of time to chronicle your sexploits later, Polly. Right now, we need to focus on these food picks. While Liam and Polly were busy bantering, you busily arranged a dope food pick of your own, and now to complete your masterpiece. A food pick, but instead of food, it's just a bottle of whiskey with ketchup on it. <laughs> a food pick with Liam taking a food pick. So meta. Uh, let's go with 
with the whiskey with ketchup. Yes. Oh my god, yes! I love liquid lunch. Oh. <laughs> Wait, but you don't eat or drink. That's why I'm a. That's why I allowed you to be my extremely cool food pick at Tet. I fucked all up. That's why I allowed you to <laughs> at at my extremely cool food pick <laughs> table. How do you even drink liquor? Duh, I make an alive person drink it, and then I possess them and suck the drunkness out of them, obviously. I suppose that's not too terribly dissimilar to how I get drunk, but why? Why put ketchup on the whiskey bottle? Spite. <laughs> um, so it counts as food? You can't just drink a bottle of whiskey without ketchup on it for lunch. That wouldn't be a meal. Ah, uh, you can't argue with that logic. Nor do you want to, because then how would you justify getting drunk at lunchtime? All right. I, think I guess I'm gonna now. go to the store. Wait, is that even a good idea? I only have nine. I would probably. It's, it's a good idea unless you want cocaine or something. Ah, uh, shit. Um, you can get a chunky stat bonus we'll the, or a uh, mod or something, yeah. or you can be a witch. We'll do the center. We'll do the center Ooh. table. That also gives you a good stat bonus. Uh, did you yeah. Is this cocaine exactly what you wanted? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, probably. <laughs> <laughs> You're enjoying your meal in peace when you hear the unmistakable sound of three throats clearing. <laughs> you want to be a witch? Oh, I can do that, yeah. Three witches. <clears throat> <clears throat> Different tone. Yes, hello. As you know, it is customary for a benevolent witch coven to have, as an ally, a malevolent creature of some sort. And since Liam has apparently decided he's too cool for us now, I mean, because of your incredible resume and good looks, We've decided to accept you on a trial basis as our supernatural companion for one adventure. Adventure not to exceed three episodes or eclipse the main plot arc. As a consideration for your willing participation, we'll even allow you your choice of adventures. We call it the Felicia Day Package. Three. <laughs> Three episodes. Three episodes in the final season. <laughs> yeah. Interesting how it's all the final season of every show. <laughs> so Felicia Day shows up five episodes before a show gets canceled. <laughs> you could knock out one of these adventures by the end of lunch, and it actually sounds fun. The coven gives you two options. Stop the crime ghost who's been taking over children's bodies and using them to, to rob banks. You have a never-before-seen plan. Or take on the greatest villain of, of all, income equality. Inequality. Yes. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or... Wait, but inequality. Unless... <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Here, it is revealed that Keith is actually a cutthroat capitalist this whole time. <laughs> Her cross um, is upside down, that means we have to use reverse psychology. Oh, anyway, we're gonna do the top one. Stop the crime ghost. You put a stop to the crime ghost crime, and the only way you know how. Wow with fake beards. It's working! Now that all the children have fake beards, the crime ghost can't tell their children! He's got no one to possess! Gasp. <laughs> that, yep, yep, that was totally your plan. You definitely didn't just start slapping beards on kids and hope for the best. <laughs> Excellent. The day is saved once again, thanks to the coven and our faithful sidekick, Bird. What's that? You wanted to know about payment. We're sorry, but the contract clearly states that this is an unpaid internship. Damn it. The contract does say that. Oh, well. At least you uh, get four creativity for your lateral thinking. I don't care about creativity. Stats are helpful. I did. Need, especially if Lady Bird steals your girl. <laughs> no, wait, Apparently. I didn't. Now I, I'm, I'm, for, I'm going I for... I just wanted uh, to talk to more people. Brunel's turn. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, what am I gonna need for Vera? Definitely smarts, definitely money. Yeah. That's it. Boldness, probably. Vera or seems charm. like she needs every stat, honestly. Or charm. <laughs> yeah. 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 She's a pain. Yeah. I don't know what Let's you'll see talk in her. To her. Let's is, see it, is it the extreme eye contact? The ten eye contact at once? <laughs> <laughs> nice. The, the ten eye contact at once? Wait, what? 
Because of all the snakes. The snakes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go talk to her. Oh, unless, wait, uh, are you going there, Keith? Um, yeah. I, 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 mm. I thought you were doing Scott, Keith. Yeah, I'd probably talk to Scott because I can't afford anything anymore. Unless I want to get a gift. A gift that keeps on giving so, and just see what it does. So I could get something from the shop and you go there. That sounds like a plan. Let's go to the shop okay. first. Okay. Shouldn't you be out there trying to romance a classmate or something? Anyway, welcome. There's so much here. Alright, so uh, there there's is. the ticket to heaven. You know what? They say he they say heave is the next Coachella. I'm not interested since after dying, I'll just go to my second life out of the 91 I have, the nine I have. But hey, what if you die and go check out heaven yourself? There's the bottled emperor's soul. It has a variety of useless. Mostly I just use it to get fucking wasted. And then, how to become a social media sensation. Well, I guess if you're gonna buy a textbook, it might as well be on how to get cloud online. And I think this is new? A cult ring? Yeah, I have a cult ring. No questions. Take it or leave it. Everything else looks mm. like it was here before. But I'm here for stats, though. Let's bring Ew. the charm up. Do I get... Charm is... that is... Bob Ross? No, that's creativity. That's it creativity. literally says creativity on a kernel. Yeah. I have, my eyes are bad. I can't see anything. It, it's okay. Charm. It, it is Because <laughs> this is boldness. And this is... Smart? Because it's yeah. annoying. And this is fun. So the... Cre the... Is is mixtape charm? Oh, it's the yeah, the sexy the the sexy fake Latin accent <laughs> is charm. There we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at look at the the packaging. Yeah, how does sexy seven Latin? So you're going for charm. Mm-hmm. Have a good one. That. Ooh, ten. Um, nice. Sure. It's a big old chunk. Watching Vera eat is usually pretty disturbing. Her snakes eat at the, at the same time she does. We're getting a lot of repeat events today. But at least it's usually quiet. This time, however, Scott is doing his best to change that. Touchdown. Lefty, gobble that mouse! No, no. Watch out for Wiggles coming up from behind! Use that tongue! Go! Ugh, he does this every week or so. Whenever my snakes need a meal, he seems to think snake eating contests are a competitive sport. Also, I I don't think he realizes that an actual snake eating contest would probably involve people eating snakes. I tried charging him for tickets to get him to stop, but he actually pays to do this. He keeps track of each snake's statistics on a little index card. He's even given them names. Go Slither! Go Bendy! Go Sanchez! Go Snake Snake! Those aren't their names. God, no matter how much he pays for the tickets, it isn't enough. This seems like a really tense situation. You resolve it in the only way you know how. By opening your mouth and yelling. Boring! <laughs> this is nothing compared to earthworm eating contests. Snake, 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 eat that food and stay awake. That's the spirit. Get your head in the game, Sanchez. Do snakes have heads or are they just neck and face? <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Bendy's been behind all season with a record low BMI. That's body mass index. The index is because I wrote it on this index card. But now she's hungry for victory. Let's go, Bendy! Swallow that glory! The snakes really do seem to be, enjoy having an audience. They're really hamming it up. Or sh should it be snaking it up? Your wild cheering motivates Bendy to really go at it. She tries to grab the mouse out of Lefty's jaws, but the two end up tearing it in half. Uh-oh. -uh. Ah! My scalp! It'll take my snake charmer slash hairdresser hours to get those organs out. <sighs> Take a shower, you weirdo. <laughs> Major foul on Bendy there. She's gonna be out for the rest of the season. Damn right she is. I'm having her muzzled. And her name is Spirulina. By the time Vera's cleaned up the blood and runoff, <laughs> you've made plans to meet- <laughs> I hate that. You made plans to meet with Scott to watch the next match. Nice. 
The start Everybody of a chooses beautiful... an animal. Don't say, don't say snake, don't say snake, don't say snake. <laughs> Cat. Oh. Cats like dog, except it probably won't fail. <laughs> dog. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with, uh... Tortoise. Bunny, cat, tortoise, dog. Player order is determined by how likely it is for the selected animal to take over humankind. Oh, cat wins. Cat, yep. I guess they already did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, cat was colonel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I guess it would be me, because Third, rabbits aren't going to take over humankind, and dogs would explode at the thought of trying to betray humans. Mm -hmm. Keith, you take the fucking L again on this one. Never go with dogs. <laughs> I don't know, man. Dogs have more impact on society than dirt than turtles do. I think that if you asked a dog to betray a human being, it would break down into tears. It would be the first dog that ever cried human tears. <laughs> human tears? <laughs> Depends on what you're meaning of takeover is. Does it mean like like literally rule over like a tyrant or like infiltrate yes. and con and influence, which they'd have? No, I think it's tyrants. You're going to give it to turtles over dogs? <laughs> Um, yes. I mean, expect turtles though. Like they, no. No <laughs> plan. Them. they have they be, they can plan a century ahead. This is a coup. This is blaspheme. I agree <laughs> with Bird. This is you're all. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Was it turtles or or rabbits? I lost track. Turtles for me. I, I think mean, so. Turtles a second? You mean? I mean, I don't mean Snapping which one's you. They're really mean. And rabbits, <laughs> I mean, they can... Yeah, ra snapping turtles are uh, dangerous. They'll, they'll yeah. snap you. Dogs so, actually you, organize actually. socially. <laughs> yeah, but they but they, they just say nice things about their owners. Turtles just abandon their you, children. You wanna go, because you, <laughs> you... You went last this time, no. too. Okay. <laughs> I'll right. just die over here. It's, it's fine. Let's go. Let's do this. Now, I need... Money and smarts. Uh, I'm gonna bet that I'm gonna be able to get smarts just out of normal things. Let's go for money. Where's the money maker? It's the porn thing. That is thing. the library. Where is it? That's the library. library. Let's do it. Did you say the porn thing? Yeah, because it's... Didn't you see the porn <laughs> thing? You're getting them bitcoins and it has like math and whatnot and you get two bitcoins. Mm-hmm. Later you hear an unmistakable growling that can only mean one thing. Intergalactic lions have broken through space to devour one of the smaller, <laughs> weaker students. No, wait, it's just the wolf pack. I guess it could have meant two things. For the last time, it's this. Is this a bromance or a bro treason, broski? You're my teammates and my family, and I'm not trying to be a bad Scott, but. This is the third match in a row you've missed our full moon bro down. We've got together and practiced a wolf pyramid, and then helped. You <laughs> Sorry, the visual. Oh. <laughs> then helped each other inject sheep steroids. <laughs> we played flip cup with lamb's blood spiked with natty eyes. <laughs> that all sounds really nice, but I already had plans, and I didn't want to let people down. Bro, you're a wolf. Are you with the wolf pack, or are you with those other monsters? Oh damn. You're one of those other monsters. You better do something. Let me teach you a new game. <laughs> Extremely long distance fetch. Guys, guys, guys. On the inside, aren't we all wolves? I feel like we've done this one before uh, to them. <laughs> I didn't do this. I think we gave them a crisis. I, I don't actually remember it. Oh, wait, no, we gave Scott a crisis where he thought everyone was wolves. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Liam was there. No, Damien? Damien. I'm gonna go with the second one. Um, I think it's smarts. Charming. Oh, it's charming. Good. Even better. I got charming. Mm. Ellipses all around. Bro, that's like deep, bro. Like super deep. Maybe too deep. Nah, bro. The perfect deepness. This is exactly the kind of question we need to be asking ourselves as SJWs. <laughs> yes. What? Super jacked wolves need to be socially aware too. Oh, now I get it. We're all wolves. 
because we all pee in the same toilets? Or, or, because the school is one big wolf pack? Just trying to backfill now? Bro, yeah. maybe it is. Maybe it is. The wolves wander away to ponder this further. You're not sure they're sold on this or that they're entirely sober, so the effect may, be la la may not last. Awesome, bro. Wow, you sure know a lot about wolves and life and everything. You must have a lot of smarts. No, that was charm. Kyle <laughs> looks yeah. at you with awe, and you have a feeling that he's just gained a lot of respect for you, while you've gained two smarts and one charm. All right, nice. Perdo. Okay. Well, no money for you. All my poly stats <laughs> suck, and I don't get money. <laughs> um, I guess we're gonna go. Uh, um, bathrooms. Boldness. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits and gain two boldness. You see Vera at what? the mirror attempting to tame her hair with a cattle prod. Ugh, I am having the absolute worst hair day. In biology, my snakes murdered the gremlin sitting next to me, which totally messed up my bun, and I didn't even want to murder him yet. You know, having my scalp covered in live venomous snakes can be a real pain in the neck sometimes. Literally, sometimes they bite my neck. My hair care routine is more diplomatic than cosmetic. I have to broker a peace treaty every morning just so my hair won't have a part in it. I know I'm gorgeous and rich and better than basically everyone, but my life is the literal worst and it's all because of my vicious reptilian hair. Vera's acting all tough and aloof, but you didn't survive to your senior year at Spooky High School without learning to recognize when a Gorgon is fishing for a compliment. <laughs> Maybe you can give her a brilliant hair care tip, or at least make her feel better about having snakes for hair. If you're having trouble taming your hair, I've got a flute that might do the trick. Why don't I come over to your place and charm them sometime? Oh, I oh, get it. Oh, come on. There's way <laughs> worse animals you could have for hair. What about squirrels? Um, Ooh. I guess the top one is probably creativity and the bottom one is fun. I don't know. I'm going to do or, the top or, one. Or charm. <laughs> I think the top one is oh, charm, but says you're charm. Good Oh, but my charm's fine. Let's do yeah. it. Oh, okay. It is charm. What do you know? You know, that's not the worst idea I've ever heard. You can come over and try to work your magic. And if it doesn't work, my snakes can just kill you. They're usually a lot calmer right after they do a murder. <laughs> so, see you after school. An invite to Vera's house with only a slight chance of horrible death? Score. You gain two fun and one boldness. Oh my yes. fucking god, I got the poly stats and I've been put on the Vera <laughs> path now. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll pivot to Vera, it's fine. We'll make it work. Do you want to pivot to Vera? <laughs> I don't know anymore. Everybody fight. Everybody fight. Like, <laughs> fight, fight, you fight. You will see, I guess. Because you both want Vera now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I got That's poly why I stats. Spent all my money. I, I got poly stats, so talk to Polly. It's okay. I would love to. Yeah, she, he couldn't. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Need to pick pick the <laughs> right animals. Um, it doesn't look like I have very much money, so would I get that from going to class? Yeah, you get it from library, which is taken by Colonel. Oh, dang it, okay. But your, your, your choices money. are, you can get creativity at the auditorium, fun at outdoors, charm at gym, or you can go to the store. You can actually buy things with five money. Uh, the stats, the, the stat items are five, I think. Yeah, it's five, it's five oh. money to trade for five of whatever stat you like. Ooh. A and okay, uh, um... Colonel took the charm one. And also, bear in mind that you don't get to talk to anybody if you buy things. Like, that's why I didn't get my... I didn't talk to anyone on uh, right. when I... In the... Um, at lunch, I should say. Yeah, let's... You said outdoors was fun? Yep. Yeah, let's go outdoors. It's a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. 
bull crazy. You were right. <laughs> yeah, it says it every time. There's three people. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. <clears throat> uh, and a cat. Oh my god. There, there wasn't a cat this time. <laughs> Everyone's eating Vera. You're making your daily protection payment to Vera when suddenly... Everyone, oh. stop what you're doing and look at my majestic visage. The interdimensional prince muscling in on my territory, are you? Not at all, my darling Vipress. I am here strictly on a business capacity. Business, you say? I'm all ears. Except for my snakes, which are all tons of tea. It's simple economics, my love. You're an aspiring crime kingpin. I'm a prince. I propose a merger. A merger of our resources, our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. Not bad. Interesting. Oh no, Vera's getting out her calculator. If she decides this merger is financially viable, good luck asking her to prom. How will you undermine Vera's confidence in the prince's financial status? Replace all his gold with fish. <laughs> Steal all his money with your high-frequency trading algorithm, Carl. What? <laughs> Ooh. Why is everyone getting Vera? What's? It's weird, uh, isn't it? I don't know either. Let's let's replace his gold with fish. Not so creative. Oh. You assemble a crack team of interdimensional criminals to heist the prince's vault. Success. You arrive back at school to find the prince dancing with glee. Oh, splendid. I'm rich. I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams. Some benevolent interloper mysteriously replaced all my useless gold with precious fish! Are you telling me that in your dimension fish are incredibly valuable, whereas gold is worthless? Why, of course! Isn't that how it is everywhere? My god. The potential for arbitrage is... Hmm. Great. No, I think this is the start of a beautiful business relationship. This isn't what you want at all. And Miranda's probably gonna wonder what happened to all her fish. You lose two smarts and one creativity. Um, <laughs> oh womp. no, Miranda. Dang it. I'm gonna go audit also, myself. <laughs> also, Vera is now gonna date the interdimensional prince and we are all gonna get fucked. Cause... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that happens for everyone or if it just really screws no. you over. Yeah, yeah. Later, you're fishing around your pocket for a stick of gum, and you find that poetry contest, contest entry ticket instead. Crap, why'd you even buy this? Does this mean you're actually responsible for writing poetry now? What a nerd. You need to get rid of this thing now. You start looking for the best trash to stuff it in before someone sees. Wait, Keith, is that a ticket for the 70... the 70... <laughs> The 76th Annual Monster High School Poetry Competition. So authentic. I didn't know you were so into poetry. Color me impressed. I'm entering too. Obviously, I'm a fellow connoisseur of the art of poetry. It combines antiquity, pretentiousness, and the sound of my own voice, which are all things that I love. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Keith. One poet to another, what are your thoughts on the augmentation of trochaic tetrameter tetramet in the final canto of the Spenserian sonnet? Um, was that even- what did I say? <laughs> trichameter, you all say trichameter. I don't know. <laughs> it's, Maybe it's, it's pronounced meter. different here, I don't know. Yeah, it could like be. Like pentameter. <laughs> no, they don't it's say tetrameter. They don't say penta- they don't say pentameter, they say pentameter. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> weird. Um, was Got that it. even English? Yeah, that blank stare says it all. I figured you were only doing this to get laid. It's okay. I knew that no one at this culturally barren wasteland of a school was going to take this seriously. So I hired on some outside artistic help from a different school in the district. Oh, here he comes now. What convenient timing. Hey, Forceburn. How are you today? How's Aether High? Aether High is a desolate pit of darkness filled only with tools and fools, and my shadow remains my only ally. Cool. Wow, he never turns it on. Off. <laughs> Good job. How do you do it, Forsburn? Hmm. 
It was this triangle scientist, Liam. His blank, thirsty stare reminds me of my <laughs> father. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is Keith. He wants to join our poetry team for the contest. What say you, poetry master? Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. As a dark, abandoned spirit of an unloved second son, I don't usually play well with others. Just what sort of poet are you, Keith? We already have Liam, who's our insufferable hipster poet. Damn. Guilty as charged, oh, uh, my esteemed lion-like friend. Of course he just fucking shrugs it off. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm our doom and gloom emo poet, so those two slots are filled. What will you bring to the team if you join? Well, besides bad puns, hey, and maybe some donuts, <laughs> not much. But you can't let Forsper know that. The only way out of this lies to dig deeper. I'm the Sonneteer, inevitably heartbroken, ins insufferably horny, fighting sexual repression in iambic pentameter. Everything I say is a haiku. Watch, it's snowing on Mount Fuji. Fuck. Um, wow, it is snowing on Mount Fuji. Yeah, no, that's the. This the is game a mod. This is modded dialogue, right? Yeah, it's a. I okay. think it's an. I think it's an official thing. I can't tell. Oh, I see. But they uh, they put out a, a mod tool thing. I tried thing. I tried to find the Damien's dad's mod, which was supposed to exist and doesn't seem to exist. But there's like six other mods that they that are like officially sanctioned that either I oh, think it might I be see. either either written or drawn by the original people, but I'm not sure. Uh, I was gonna say this artwork is fantastic. Super on mod. point. <laughs> yeah. But, other, but there's also a Rubber Ross one with his characters, the mm -hmm. Goo Lady. Look at that definition on those forearms. What are these stats? Oh man. And what that's beneath the fur, so... I know, he's... Creativity... He's got a, <laughs> some amazing... grip strength. <laughs> this is charm, and that might be creativity? I just have to not miss smarts if one of them is smarts, but neither of them is smarts, right? They're both I stupid. wouldn't go for the first I, one. Ooh, wait, is the yeah. second one fun? Because it's stupid? Wait, you have smarts. No. What do you, why do you mean to miss smarts? I'm saying I don't want to miss smarts. If one of them is smarts, I have to pick it. So I have to, I'm trying to be oh, careful. Oh, yeah, it's the top one for sure. But it's, it's hard to keep track You didn't top. even know how to pronounce it. Damn. Right? <laughs> we, we say we do not say pentameter. That is not how anyone in this country says it. <laughs> it's it's iambic So pen, charming. Pentameter. Oh. What? You, a sonneteer? Yeah, right. If that's true, why don't you put your couplets where your mouth is? Well, if he insists, you start doing what any sonneteer does best, be horny in rhyme. <laughs> Shall I compare thee to a summer's day, you say, because you're hot as hell? Mm. Oh my god, I'm gonna try to remember that line. <laughs> hey Liam, do the hallways here normally fill with sweet-smelling rose petals on command? No, I don't think so. The sweet, sultry lute music coming from nowhere is new too. It's working. You keep reciting. And yet by heaven, I think my love as rare, cause you've got a thick ass and I'm gonna stick it there. <laughs> Keith, when did you change into those Renaissance era clothes? I could swear you weren't wearing starched collar and pantaloons earlier. Cool. The double wow. dose of bird. I, yeah, I was like, and I'm here too. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it's a party in here. And you guys sing all these are you guys seeing all these cherubs around? Yeah. Anyway, are you guys seeing all these cherubs flying around too? Or are the shrooms finally kicking in? Awesome, bro. Hey, Keith, you look different. I don't know why, but I have the sudden urge to throw laurel leaves at you. Perfect. No muses. You recite, Scott, your eyes are nothing like the sun. They are like deep pools of blue coral, and also I want to lick your pecs. <sighs> Whoa. That was cool. I want to try. Your butt is like a watermelon. Your nipples as yummy as Funyuns. Side effects may include hallucinations, death, and Bunyuns. Huh? Wow. That was actually weirdly okay. Where did everyone <laughs> get so good at writing couplets? Hmm. Oh, is that what we're doing? I was just reading the label on this Percocet I'm planning on popping later. Your friends wander off to write some more sonnets. Forceburn stays, though, and glares at you with a thousand-yard stare. Glare. You've proven yourself today, Keith. I will let you join our team. Truthfully, I am... 
counting on you. As much as it cleaves my soul to admit it, I'll need your help to whip the other poetry team members into shape if we want to win. Just the thought of this undertaking makes me want to cry. Dark, anguished tears of darkness and anguish. But we must persevere. I will see you at poetry practice. He leaves. You're kind of grateful because his, his, this poofy renaissance collar is itchy as hell. You gain two creativity and one smarts. You'll need it for the competition. Oh, I noticed that it's a, a poofy yeah, renaissance. The, a starch collar isn't poofy. That's the thing no. that, uh, yeah. Also, I looked it up on Google, and you're right, Keith. It's pentameter. <laughs> oh. Boom! Take that, not uh, your first language. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what happened to me here? You get we'll to run the out. event. Every every nighttime event, which happens after each day, so it's going to be twice this, this game, uh, you get to be the main character of a little event, and you'll have to do a test, and so on. Oh, goodness. Okay. That weekend, you go party hard with Polly, Vera, Damien, Liam, Liam, Colonel, and Bird. That's all yeah. of us. No. Well, Fuck you. there was no Keith in there. <laughs> Fuck no, you. I mean, all of us get a chance to voice act. <laughs> oh, yeah. You have a great time at the very popular nightclub Apollo, thus named because despite being the hottest club on the weekends, it's an actual temple to the god Apollo on weekdays. But no good party ends when the nightclub closes. So at 6 a.m. you decide to just hang out in a nearby park, drinking and chatting. What a rad night, huh? You betcha. Vera and I had some great laughs doing good old anal bleaching. Oh, what? It's a game we have. You know those douchebags that steal your drink when you leave it unattended for two seconds? Hmm, sure. We drink half our glasses and then pour bleach in them. If people are cool, then the club staff just takes them and throw them in the trash after a while. But if someone wants to play smart, then we fucking bleach those assholes. Thus, anal bleaching. Metal. Remind me never to get on your bad sides, you two. Anyway, what should we do now? Know any cool after parties? I think that douchebag mummy said something about an after party at some nearby catacombs. Oh, but remember, he got bleached. Right. Then I've got nothing. But this can't end without a wacky situation that forces one of our friends to make a hard choice that leads to an absurd outcome. Whoa. No sooner has Liam finished this thought, but a cloud of mystical green smoke appears up from nowhere, and a groovy, bearded guy emerges from it. Oh, I remember this guy. <laughs> hey, kids! My name is Joe the Laser. I'm like a laser wizard. And today, wizard. I have a quest. The quest of teaching you how to properly dance to a hit song. I'm a laser wizard. Here we go. <laughs> so, uh, do you remember the classic early uh, 2010 staple party rock anthem by Lymphal? Today, I'm going to teach you how to laser shuffle to it. One of you, uh, come, uh, come. Demonstrate the shuffle with me. <laughs> Hard pass. I'm more of a vogue for all myself. Meh. I have no problem dancing with strangers with magic powers and parks. Also, shuffling is kind of my thing. Damien plays the song on his phone while Polly does dope ass shuffling, and the wizard sinks an arrangement of lasers with her so crazy that pigeons start following out of nearby trees. Just. wow. Wow, indeed, my fellow young strangers, and so my quest is to pass this knowledge on to you. But who could take on such an important burden? Unfortunately, at that moment, you were smelling your own armpit, and your hand was raised, so now everyone's watching you. Fortunately, you're pretty decent at shuffling, but whose laser magic will best complement your dance? Colonel. Her laser magic skills are so strong that she got banned from the local laser tag place. You're pretty sure you heard Bird got laser hair removal last week, so he must still have some laser remnants in his body. 
So you have to figure <laughs> out what stat is being tested. The person has to run the laser show. And then you have to guess which of these two people has the highest version of that stat. And you can't tell. You can't check anymore. Um. So far, we've always succeeded at this I, test. I feel like it would be a creativity thing, right? For laser magic skills. Yeah. Maybe, or fun. It could be fun, yeah. yeah. Um, I do recall Bird got creativity recently. So let's go with the second one. Hey, so smart. That's smart. Okay. <laughs> and so the two of you start this very weird and specific laser-based party ritual. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have bigger smarts than Bird. Uh, so you do. You do. So uh, it isn't a it, matter of who has the biggest, but who has a good amount. No, I think maybe. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's just like a stat check. Like, do you pass the oh. stat check? Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just a regular stat check, but against somebody else's stats. Yeah. I think it also yeah. might just be that once they're so once they're high enough, it doesn't matter anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Could be, yeah. Because you're both really high. It's not like a yeah. toss-up, but I don't know. We go off a mix of what chat says, which is either or usually a combination of incorrect and incomplete. <laughs> so, so it's, it's a guessing <laughs> game. Shots fired. I it's they they, fine. they earned it. Chat's wrong 100 percent of the time. You're shuffling kicks ass, and Bird's laser magic is just too strong. It's so strong that this event won't be included in the Japanese version of the game to avoid giving kids <laughs> seizures. Wow! This is otherworldly. You know what? I agree. One fucking hundred percent. What a masterful and splendid display of laser magic. You're, you're the chosen one, says Joe the laser. I have <laughs> to reveal something to you. I was a wizard in disguise this whole time. I was secretly testing you to find out if you were pure of heart and strong of, of laser. You literally just told us you were a wizard. Whatever, I'm, I'm super drunk. But the, the important thing is you passed my test. And what's our prize? Is it seven dolphins? A car? A car made of seven dolphins? The wizard ignores Polly, puts his hands over you and Bird's shoulders, and whispers, The prize is earning the respect of your friends. Uh, the, the prize is, re is earning the respect of your friends, and now that I've found the chosen ones, my time in this world has come to an end. Rhyming. He winks at you, and then he slowly and emotionally evaporates. <laughs> Damn, the vapor's infused with strong smell of cheap rum. Did he... did he just... die? <laughs> we will always remember Joe the Laser. Let's pay our respects by <laughs> shuffling! He burst into more awesome shuffling and laser magic. A cheap rum-scented breeze makes you look at the sky, and there you see a cloud shaped like his face, winking at you. Creepy. Still, you and Bird gain two fun and one creativity thanks to Joe the Laser. Pretty good. God bless you, Joe the Laser. <laughs> Joe the Laser! Everybody choose a celebrity. <laughs> celebrity. I celebrity. choose Joe the Laser. 